Hi, Michael Ellis. I'm Member of Parliament for Northampton North. So, Michael, here we are. You've got, you're all kitted out rather nicely, actually. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm here with Fitzy. I'm enjoying myself. Kitted up, as I think probably most market traders would be. I've even got a House of Commons um, baseball cap on. And I've actually sold some apples and pears and some oranges and all the rest of it. I tell you, one of the big things that I'm learning about is the plastic bags. I mean, they get through a huge amount of bags here. Come on, come on. Uh, get that carry bag down, Michael. It is environmentally important that we cut down on the use of plastic bags as much as possible. I was in the Mediterranean, I was lying on my back floating, all right? And I thought, this is brilliant, you know, mate. First only for three years, I noticed something coming towards me, do you know, mate? So, uh, you know, I thought it was a jellyfish. It was a Tesco's carrier bag. Hold them up, Michael. Interest you, sir? Two punnets of strawberries. Ding, ding, dong. We won't be here long. Two uh, punnets of strawberries for a pound. Don't get manic if they're not organic. <laughs> <laughs> and the week before I was at Morrison's, here I am on the Market Square. It's the best way of learning what really goes on. He's come to do a day's graft. And he's come to the right place, I can assure you. I regularly do day's graft. No, no, not, not like this, Michael. Not no, quite no, like this, no, I admit no, it. No, but yeah. I admit you it. You wouldn't want to do these hours. <laughs> I do, it's right. pretty long yeah, hours, right, 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 yeah. So that spot you've got here, though, right on the corner. It's good, isn't it? I think you've probably got one of the I best. I want Tesco to call me out. Well, today, you can't beat fresh fruit and veg. The hot customers don't mind washing the potatoes. You don't get quality like that at Tesco's, do you? Honestly, come on, you go and have a look. The customer's always right. They're not. They are. They're, definitely they're not. They are. They're always right. The wasp like the grapes. They're extra. Danger them. You got stung twice in one day last week. Really? Yeah. Did I? I'm a new boy. He's a new boy, darling. <laughs> you won't be here long. <laughs> no, he's on that bleeding phone again, honestly. He's been here right about 20 minutes, right? I guarantee he's been on that phone. 50. You got secretary work for you in that? Yeah, yeah. two. Two, are you? Two, yeah, but it's extremely busy. We yeah. get hundreds, hundreds of emails and letters a week. Yeah. But I love it. You wouldn't be doing it, would you? No. Too long, it's too, if you don't enjoy your job, it's too long a day. It, it has to be a vocation. One day I'm going to write a book. Would you? <laughs> well, variety is the spice of life. Am I going to be in it? No, no. <laughs> you, you might get mentioned. Boy, Excuse boy. me, man. <laughs> You wait until it starts pissing around. I don't sort the men out from the boys, that does. You're beside you. <laughs> what are you listening for when you're banging? Well, the sound of the water. It's firm. There you go. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, darling. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you think he's the bus, wouldn't you? Uh, are you going over it? Yeah, yeah, come on, Michael. He's on that phone again. This time he's got that worried look on his face. I think it's David Cameron ringing him up. Don't go near Fitzy. There's not many fruits that's left like us, though, is there? No, you're a traditional, good old fashioned quality. Master fruit. Master fruit. Where's he gone now? It didn't work, yes. Want to call that, girls? Emma. This is Fitzy. It's a very important place in this town for the market traders. They've got to be supportive. And one of the things that I am doing by being here is doing what I can to draw attention to the work that they do and how, how they serve our community here. You are going to survive. Oh, well, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, survive. Survive, yeah. So I'm still good at it. And, you know, I don't mind getting up and working. So what do you think the Borough Council could do to, to make it easier for you here? We could do it with lower rents. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, but, so could we all? Then, no, just leave us alone. Flash him up, flash him up, kid. Not used to this hard work. Uh, <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, I thought of it. Fitzy. Hey, you looked at my website. Is that my wages? <laughs> I didn't write any self. I got none. There we go. Wages, lame. How's that, then, Mark? 4.45 plus them. 5.45. Just yeah, make sure we can add up. You know what them MPs are like. He's a new boy, darling. I've got him on a boy to get. He's doing well. He's doing all right, isn't he? He needs one of his secretaries down here to answer his pissing phone. That's how juicy they are, look. <laughs> Why are they stopping building more youth clubs? But there's a lot of going into uh, improving the situation for young people. I mean. The government's put millions into creating more apprentices. There's nothing wrong with working on the market, working in McDonald's. There's nothing yeah. wrong with getting no, a job no, and doing right. some work. But the minimum wage. Well, but that's a start. Yeah, that's but a start. Who could live on a minimum wage? 
<laughs> He's loving it like a bleeding big kid. <laughs> There's a skill to this. Unlike politics, all up my bleeding arm. Only three pounds, Taylor. How much are you on Burlows? Three pounds. How much? Three pounds for all his health. We don't sell them today, he'll never sell them. Anybody else? I'm known as the Watermelon Man of Northampton. Look at those beauties. Yum, yum. Does anybody want to buy a business? Two Bob. How you go, darling? I've known some nutters in my time. You look at him funny, he'd, he'd, he'd bop you one. Oh, really? Yeah, he'd, uh, he'd lay the nut on you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He'd stick, it, he'd stick the head on you. <laughs> when he was a kid, I bet his mum had to tell him to keep out them puddles, Michael. He'd sip it over himself, look. <laughs> Sorry, madam, he's dangerous. Yeah. I'll call it a day, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> he's loving it. <laughs> right. yeah, I don't want to bring Tony Blair into this whatsoever. I won't mention his name ever again. There we go. Got rid of all of that. Thank you, Michael. I'll give you a drink Christmas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>